Hi, I'm Barbara Olsavsky, strategist, data toolmaker, and trainer. When we talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts, we frequently turn to the data to see how we're doing relative to our own internal goals, and as possible, how our efforts and relative success rates compare to those in our local communities and others in our industry. That is, we typically talk and think in terms of benchmarks and progress towards a target percentage. But we don't just need to wrangle and analyze the data, we also need to communicate the findings of the analysis so that we can figure out what to do next. And this is where choosing the right visualization comes in. In this video, I demonstrate how different visualization choices enable different understandings of the data and different conversations and decisions around the data. Before I dive in, I want to give a quick disclaimer that this video is for general information purposes only and is not intended as consulting or business advice. Let's use a scenario in which fictional employees have self-reported demographic data as part of their job application process. Your resulting data set includes departments and demographic classifications for ethnicity, race, and gender. And you're interested in knowing whether your employee population is trending towards establishing or maintaining a certain level of racial diversity, primarily through percentage targets. The first visualization I'll demonstrate is a pie chart, because it's a natural choice when you're looking for percentages. This pie chart shows the racial makeup of the dataset's employees in 2020. The problem here is that a pie chart is a snapshot of percentages of a whole. There is no history here, meaning that there's no context to show whether this is an improvement over where you were a year ago or whether you're on the right track for your targets. If all you needed was a simple yes or no to see if you've met a certain target percentage, this might be sufficient. But you're interested in assessing how you're trending, so you need a different visualization. A line chart is the standard go-to for trends over time. Each line represents a racial category with each data point showing the count of employees at that time. This chart gives you the history you're looking for, but isn't very impactful. It requires a lot of mental work to figure out how these trends translate in terms of your percentage goals. Are you on track? Maintaining? Trending away? Figuring this out is mental work you should be reserving for figuring out what to do about where you're at and how you're trending, not figuring out where you're at in the first place. My favorite option for this scenario is the 100% stacked column chart. This format provides trends over time as well as percentages at each of the time slices. Each column represents 100% of the data at that time, sort of like a flattened pie chart. At a glance, you can quickly see how each racial classification is trending over time, which means that you can get the information you need for the question you're asking and you're reserving your mental energy for reflecting on what the data is telling you and what you want to do next. When you combine this visualization with a slicer or filter, it's also easy to explore the trends in terms of the departments and other factors represented in your data set, and that provides a richer context and a better understanding of where you might need to focus your efforts to achieve your goal. Now, I want to emphasize that this visualization claims a 100% representation of the population in question. So I've included a category for unknown, which ensures that each employee is still counted, even if that employee opted out of answering demographic-related questions. The claim of 100% would be misleading otherwise. You could obviously extend this scenario to any situation with participants, such as students in a college-level program or members of a networking group. Whatever the case, it's important to verify that your visualizations are appropriate to the questions being asked and that they enable the types of conversations and decisions that you want with a minimal amount of mental energy being used to understand what the visualization is trying to tell you. If you would like to talk to me about your data strategies and visualizations, you can connect with me at www.bluedesigns.com. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with someone who needs it. Thank you for watching.